Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the DCO Sourcecast. I am, of course, Trex, and alongside me, as always, I'm happy that he's sitting right beside me, in my mind, through the internet. I'm going to keep going, it, it, because it's funny. Only perverted dreams. And, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Super Patriot. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Oh, dope. Ah. Uh, Good, good, pretty solid week. Pretty solid week. How, uh, how's your week been going? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, yeah, all got, right. got 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 a big week coming up next week for uh, me and my league. That's right. You, know, you guys yeah. are celebrating your one year anniversary. That's right. You know, you are welcome to join us on any of those nights, sir. I and my PS3 is up to date, sir. Fantastic, and, and I and I will certainly grab my, grab my Elgato, and I will certainly join you guys. Definitely, fantastic. Just, just remember to tell me the dates because I forget. I, I forget a lot. Starting Tuesday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Starting Tuesday, and it's imaginary written down. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just let me write that down. <laughs> Got it, it. Okay. Yes. It is on the imaginary book. On the imaginary mm-hmm. book. Uh, so the source cast has been uh, last episode, episode four, 114. This is episode 115. Don't mind the title up there. Because <laughs> I did have to change it. Uh, so episode 114 was released yesterday. Uh, I do apologize for getting them out so late. Uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm trying my best to actually have a physical calendar in front of me to remind me when these dates are happening so I can get them out at a more professional time. The day before we have to record a new episode really isn't what I really want to shoot for. So I do apologize for all you people listening in who uh, miss the streams. And, of course, when it comes to time-sensitive information, I, I get slack on that, uh, and I will fix it. It is on my list, on the actual book, to fix for myself to better for a better presentation for you guys. So, don't worry, I still love you all. I do. I can't, did I silence my phone? I did. Just, folks, just remember, it's always Trex's fault. It is. So. It's my fault on this show, it's my fault on the Noda podcast, it's, you know, it's my fault all around. This is why I'm not in a relationship, because it's always my fault. <laughs> <laughs> always <Same>. my Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we do have a pretty weird show for you, as usual. We're just going to wing it. We have a couple of things to talk about, and they all coincide a little bit with, as soon as I find the, the button, I can't find the button. Where is the, there it is. Friday Night Legends just ended a little earlier than expected, but hey, you can't really complain because Spittle gets to go play with his puppies. Uh, I do want to start off talking about uh, FNL. Uh, apparently, we found the button that will push Spittle to ban someone on chat. And it's not that. what you think. I missed that. What was it? Okay, so he's going off that he went to meet a very uh, an author that he really enjoys. I can't remember the name. If you follow him on uh, Twitter, you he been tweeting to the dude and... He went to a book signing and got some book signed, talked to him. He took a picture. It was really great. It looked like he had a lot of fun and cool. So he's talking about books, that he type of books that he likes. And Michael Gray comes in and says, hey, maybe he likes a little bit of romance novels, some, some urban romance. And Spittle, 600-second permaband. Well, 600-second wow. band. Yes, Michael Gray was banned for 600 That's- seconds. It was hilarious. <laughs> For talking about romance novels? That Spittle likes romance novels. Spittle went, Spittle went in. It's like Michael Grid's repeat what Michael Grid said. I'm like, oh, you know what? You know what we're going to take a cut? Click, 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 click. Banned. And I just saw Michael Grid time out. I'm like, oh my god! What did you do to my grid? What did you do? It was hilarious. I will. I, I do feel bad that it happened, but I, do, I did laugh while it was going on. <laughs> and Michael Grid in Twitch chat right now. If anyone says anything bad in the chat, I am sending people into 600 second timeouts. That's right. So, <laughs> so 
So be fair warned, folks. If you make my moderators mad, they have permission. I'll go ahead and put it. They have permission to ban you for 600 seconds. That is the theme of bannings. So be careful. Be careful. Whoa. <laughs> Well, it's like I did that one time. I had uh, uh, somebody impersonating a bunch of people in uh, one of my streams one time, and I gave Jemmy uh, mod access, you know, I had to deal with the guy. And she's like, Soups, do you want me to just go ahead and just, like, ban this guy? And I'm like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And seven bannings later, the power was straight to her head. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> She what? Was like all over. She's like, she's like, ban, 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 ban. Was, you know, I was like, jeez. Well, not to self. Be careful of, G- of moderator Jimmy. That's a crazy talk. So Friday Night Legends uh, was on the US piece, the US PlayStation tonight, and we got to see Imperium. That's all I got. ID. Imperium. What was the D? Dominium. Dominium. Imperium yeah. Dominium. First off, I do give you guys credit. I do love a name. A lot of your members' names were really great. Really badass names. So I give you guys kudos for that. Uh, so they went in to the PvE challenge of going into Nexus, going up against the Batman. And sadly, they got up. That, well, not even sadly. I'm not even going to say sadly. They got all the way up to level 95 with the Batman. They tried, They jumped up to 97, couldn't do 97. Dropped 96, couldn't do it. Dropped down to 95, <laughs> couldn't do it. And so they had to stop. They stopped there at 95. So uh, a lot of people in chat, in the Twitch chat during the stream, were, of course, being, well, being people on the internet and just being a little bit demeaning, making fun of them. And I, I, I want to remind everybody that it's very easy that you could be on there. So if you want to just say, it's like, oh, this guy sucks. Oh, this tank needs to get, oh, he needs to re-roll something else. Uh, I suggest maybe put up or shut up. How about you put yourselves on the spot on the PvE challenge, get in there and try your luck. All right? You don't know how it is until you've done it. So I haven't done it myself. That being being said, though. That being said, that um, being said, uh, there were a couple of things that... (laughs) There were a couple things that I mean we were watching it that I I was a little questionable. I'm not not questionable, but I was like maybe he could have done something a little bit different. Uh, first off, let me say now that the tank he was a solo tank going into the Nexus fighting these guys, and it was a fire tank. Not even just a fire tank; he was a staff user fire tank. He's kind of the two things that you just don't see that I haven't seen in quite a while. So I think his name was Midnight. Midnight was his name, right? I don't know. I can't remember the name. All I know is uh, <laughs> he, he didn't seem like he had uh, the right tank loadout for fire um, going in there. Um, you mentioned before that, you know, oh. uh, before the show here that he wasn't uh, setting stuff on fire and all that, so he get his heels uh, back from uh, backdraft and everything. And um, yeah, his name was know, White was, Magician. White magician was there, his there, name. There was there was a couple other things too that just did not you know settle right with me that I saw. One of which, mainly for me, the thing was you know the the cockiness. Uh, you know I'm you know all for you know it's like oh man yeah we got this man it's no big deal we got this, but at the same time I mean this is you know you're trying to put your best foot forward, you know, on FNL. I mean, I've been on it a couple of times. Myself, you know, and you want to try and put your best foot forward with it and not, you know, basically, you know, show your ass on there. Uh, and that's kind of what I saw tonight with these guys. They uh, um, were very cocky right from the jump, uh, which, I mean, I may have just been, you know, nervous bravado. I don't know what, but um, it was just seemed like they weren't taking it seriously enough to, you know, make sure that they did, uh, you know, the best job they had possible, the best job they could. Like I said, the uh, whole, um, you know, I, you know, they, you know, they started off, you know, we, you know, they always start off by giving them a couple, um, uh, giving them a couple bosses at the start and everything. So they get, you know, get themselves a little warmed up and all that. And they're like, well, that's, that's all you got. You know, why are you, why are you starting us off with these little ones? 
you know, and then, you know, they, they went to 85, and I think, believe they jumped to 90, um, and then they're like, oh, give us 95, and, you know, and that right there, that just showed me that they, it was a level of impatience, and, you know, you know, just a little bit too much arrogance involved. And Brittany's in the chat too, and she's talking uh, about the uh, the tank getting counters. Tanks getting counters on bosses is so essential, especially if you are a fire tank. That blue immunity that you can get off those uh, bosses, all right, is going to save your ass as a tank. I don't care what power you are, all right. You will get so many counters, especially off you know four bosses that are you know counterable. With the combat mechanics, you can block break them, you can block them, you know, you can, you know, lunge their block breaks. You know, uh, farming those, farming those uh, counters off them, those counter immunities is essential for tanking. And the tank just really wasn't doing it that way. Yeah, and I mean, and, and I'm defending them because they... I mean, they went out there and oh, by all it, means, by all yeah. means, yeah, I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. I mean, it's, you know, it takes it takes it takes nuts to get on there. It takes nuts to put yourself out there on a show like that, you know. And then you know, you know, with the you know the very you know very uh, real you know chance that you know you may just you know you may just fall flat on your face. Yeah. It takes <laughs> balls to do that. It takes balls to do that. So I I, I definitely give them props for the effort. Um, I just don't think they were really, you know, taking it as seriously as they should have. Uh, judging by, you know, what uh, their legal, I believe that was White Magician, it was actually in what they were actually talking to. Um, I don't believe they were all taking it very seriously, though. I mean, especially, you know, when you saw one, you know, I saw I saw a gag glove being used in there, and I know there's like this thing going on right now where it actually does better for dazing effects or something like that with earth or with you know mental or electricity but uh i think the rage guy was using it and that just made no sense to me at all i don't i don't know yeah and of course uh i mean everyone knows me i i will not really pick and shoot pick on uh anyone with their choice of their loadout it's their loadout if it works for them it works for them uh but i mean Gaglov on Rage was was it was I will say it was weird to see, but I mean if it works in your other raids, uh, it, if it works for the player, it works for the player. But I mean it was it was weird to see, especially for a Rage player to use it when Rage literally has a lot of other a lot of other things that they could use a lot, <laughs> but. Uh, I do wish it would have gone a little further, uh, but I mean, like Soup said, the one thing I know maybe it was just on our side of the screen, maybe. Uh, but I didn't see the I didn't see any of the bosses on fire, so I, I didn't see any of the bosses on fire. So they're not burning; they don't have a burning dot. I didn't see uh, when he was using backdraft; he wasn't getting healed, so that told me that he wasn't getting that nothing was on fire. So. I mean, I don't know. It, it might have just been a bad night. Everybody gets a bad night. It just might have been yeah. a bad... Yeah, probably the worst time to get a bad night, but... <laughs> but, but ID, uh, better luck next time. Hope you come back and uh, yeah. regroup a little bit and try and try it one more time. Uh, I mean, can't win them all, and it's, it's okay if you can't, because I don't win anything. So you guys are doing better than me. But... <laughs> <laughs> But once again, props to White Magician for being for going in with fire and staff. That was, and of course, Meps comes in there defending staff, which I do need a t-shirt that says "staff only." I do need that in my life. <laughs> I I would really appreciate that. Cough, Super Toad, cough. Because <laughs> you know, Super Toad can draw. He draws pretty pictures. But uh, that's it for Friday Night Legends for tonight. Next week we'll be. We'll be uh, jumping over here to the USPC side for the Kryptonian themed uh, Friday Night Legends Friday Night Tour. It's going to be pretty pretty neat. Yeah, PlayStation's doing Kryptonian too, right? At the end of the month, I guess. Yes, we're doing Kryptonian only uh, for the uh, whole um, FNL thing, which is which includes all right. 
which includes Bizarro, and that we actually had discussion about this. Why, you know, does Bizarro really count? Well, technically, he is a clone. He's a failed clone of Superman's. So, technically, he does count as a Kryptonian. So, with... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bizarro is a Kryptonian. So, with, <laughs> uh, with the Kryptonian theme, are you guys allowing Supergirl to be in the tournament? Yes. Do you think that every single team is going to have a Supergirl? There's a good, very strong possibility on it. I'm, I'm foreseeing either a lot of Supergirl and Ursas or Supergirl and uh, Bizarros, to be honest with you. Supergirl and Bizarros. Everybody taking it back to FOS2, huh? Oh. That's what I'm looking at, man. I was, you know, <laughs> Bizarro, Bizarro in, in the hands of the right person is very, very useful, very strong. Um, Supergirl, obviously, is very powerful. Uh, and Ursa, I just, Ursa's just monstrous. That she is. That she is. So be sure to tune in next week for the US PC, and then at the end of the month, it's going to be on the US PlayStation with the Olympian Friday Night Legends, whatever you call it. Olympian Legends? I don't know. There's so many names I have to remember with you people. <laughs> and by you people, I mean <laughs> your tournament organizers. <laughs> It's 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 Olympus Legends for the U.S. PlayStation and it's uh, Le- Living um, Legends, Living Legends, yeah, for PC. How yeah. hard is that? It's two names. Yeah, they both but... have legends in them. So really, all you need to remember is Olympus and Living. Yeah, but then I have to remember like Decon's name, Clutch's name, Cindy's name, Sally. Who's, who's Decon? I don't know, just some guy who likes me stuff. I've never, I've never heard of this clutchmeister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, thank you, Aiden, because uh, I definitely got that message from Clutch. Uh, he did a pretty, really, uh, clutchmeister did a really neat uh, Supergirl highlight video that is in the chat right now. Uh, I definitely recommend people go and take a look at that after the stream. After the stream. After the stream. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get rid of Friday Night Legends I'm just going to get rid of it but we have a couple more things to talk about because well, we got a couple things to talk about from Friday Night Legends that's true I'm just going to get rid of it because I like to see my logo a little bit yeah okay <laughs> so uh, so during the Ask DCUO every Friday night every Friday uh, be sure to tweet DCUO the hashtag Ask DCUO and maybe your question will be asked during the program and maybe they'll, maybe it'll be answered maybe it'll be answered whatever yeah my bad so <laughs> so they were uh during some of these asked ECOs, uh they gave away a, a, a little bit of leakage there i think the faucet was running a little too long and and uh mesmer had his hands wet and he couldn't grasp that turny thing to close the close the leakage yeah so, uh, so uh, let's. Well, what what was the first one that you had written down or jotted down? Well, obviously, I mean, the first thing that the thing that popped out to me is you know the question the that was asked was, will we ever see boost three or boost four for our mainframes? That was my first one layers, too. and the answer to that was yes, yes, we will. Literally, so with the snaps and everything. Yeah. Yes, literally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Uh, we go yeah, for so bait here. Definitely, yeah, we are definitely going to be getting some uh, Boost 3, I'm sorry, yeah, Boost 3 and Boost 4s for our mainframes uh, coming in a U4 something, they said. Um, didn't give us a specific update, but it's definitely before update 50. Yes. <laughs> so, we ha- so we have four... We have 10, 10 updates, 40 through 49 yeah. that we could see these so, things. So in, in, the, in the next 12 months, <laughs> we'll see an update with Boost 3 and Boost 4. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky devs. Oh my, oh my God, just think of how many marks of triumph it's going to take to manage those. Oh, I just shivered a little bit. So now, okay. So here's my here's the speculation game for me. If we're gonna have tier, if we're gonna have the boost three and boost four, right? Right now, with boost one and boost two, we have these thirty day. My God, what happened to Balkan? What are you What are you doing, Grid? 
He's drunk with power. Yeah. Oh, decon banned him. <laughs> my okay, my mods are apparently having a game of ban Balkan. <laughs> What are you guys doing? I, I have a confession to make. I started it. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I figured you didn't want him. I figured you didn't, you didn't want him, you know, especially on the chat, scrolling up here on the video that you're going to upload on your YouTube channel, him talking about different sexual positions in the chat. Oh, Balkan. Yeah. Balkan. Mm. You can't see it because I don't have my camera on, but I'm wagging my finger. Mm. Anyways, so with Boost 1 and Boost 2 right now having the expiration date of 30 days, and do you do you feel that the 30 days for Boost 1 and Boost 2 may go away and it will just go with Boost 3 and Boost 4 only? Or do you feel that all four of the boosts are going to continue having the 30-day? Um... I don't know. I, I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt they'll go away. I want them I, to I, go I, away. At I, least just give me boost I you, one. I know, I know you want them to go away because you are a lazy, you know, MMO gamer. Uh-uh, that, you know, uh-uh. Don't want to have to, don't want to have to earn the perks that you get through playing the game. Uh, I think I've earned a lot, sir. I mean, I have <laughs> sharpshooter legs, and I earned those. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first item I popped in my head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything else. I can't back that up. I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember, I only have them on an alt. They're not on my main. So. Yeah, you know, I recently came up. I recently came up with a uh, um, theory that maybe if what I need to do to get the sharpshooter legs um, is kick everybody in my league out that has them. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm adding you onto the has list. What? All right. So <laughs> <laughs> I have them on PC tune. <laughs> and it's, Which is bad, it's, it's bad. It's bad enough, right? I, was, I got one guy in my league. Okay, who uh, decided he was going to make make a cute little video uh, called Sharpshooter, right? And he thought he only had the legs on a couple of his tunes, you know. But no. On all six tunes that he has, full sharpshooter set. Right? So he makes a video, and he's, like, showing the character. He's got every single one of them in a full sharpshooter, you know, outfit and everything like that. And I'm sitting there, I'm just, like, watching this video going, I could post a response video to this. <laughs> you know? And the the title of the, the response video would be, Who's the Sharpshooter Now? And it would just be, like, the entire video of me scrolling down, finding his name, removed from Link. Scrolling down, finding his name. From like- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you should so do that. <laughs> but be sure to re-invite him afterwards. Just make sure you tell him it's all a joke. But that would be a great. <laughs> that would be a great response video. That would be the epic of response videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already have one guy. I already have one guy in my league who uh, tweeted to me. He's like, he uh, tweeted me a picture of him with the sharpshooter legs in his inventory. And he's like, oh, looky what we have here. So I tweeted a picture back to him of, you know, me with, you know, the league menu up, his name, <laughs> and then remove and then remove from league highlight. I was like, oh, <laughs> look what we have here. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no. All right, so because, because Weapon Max posted really something cool in the chat, I have to sing it. He's making a list, checking it twice, going to find out who has sharpshooter legs or not. Super Patriot is coming to town. I like that, Mex. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I feel Balkans is going to message me on Skype with all the abuse from my mods. I'm afraid of this. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it was just a thought process that came in my head about the 30-day uh, the limit and everything. But it's so early. In the, it's early. The fact that it was actually leaked now. Uh, but they did say that they wanted to try and get it out before survival mode, but just like in the world of development, uh, things got pushed back, moved forward, worked around a little bit, maybe waxed on, waxed off a little bit, and so now we have what we have here. Uh, so, it would have been pretty cool to have that before survival mode, but I think survival mode really took more of a precedence. So, 
I'm just curious about the 30-day restriction, but once we get closer, once we actually get into the 40-something game updates, I'm sure more information is going to pop up. Uh, next was, of course, the, the grand old question, will we ever see Flash in Legends? Apparently, the answer was, is yes yeah. to that. Yeah, the answer was, is yes to that. Yeah, the answer is yes. Not We won't see it. But the devs will see it first, of course, and then we'll see it. But uh, apparently there are other legends before the Flash, which include Kyle Rayner, who will be a Legends character in War of the Light Part 2, DLC 13? No, 12. DLC 12. DLC 12, right? Because 11's yeah, Hall of Power. DLC 12, yeah. DLC okay. 12 for uh, the next... Um, uh, in the next uh, iteration of, or not iteration, the uh, continuation of the uh, War of the Light, War yes. of the Light Part Two. Um, so yeah, so they're they, they're working on Legends tunes for that right now. Uh, more than likely, I'm guessing. I don't, I'm not saying for sure because they, they, they did not hand this at all. Uh, we might see a Legend character uh, for DLC ten. Uh, I'm sorry, DLC eleven for the. Uh, Halls of Power, there's a possibility there. I doubt it. I'm not saying for sure or not. Um, but, I mean, there's a possibility with that. But, I mean, with War of the Light, we definitely did get leaked two new Legends characters that they're already working on. Uh, actually, Jens had leaked this um, once before in regards to the Blue and Green Lantern Kyle Rayner. Uh, but right. tonight you let another one slip. You let another one slip. I'm going to let Trex say it because I know Trex... Is a huge Lander fan, and I know he's dying to talk about this one here. Yeah, yeah, talk about the one that I definitely didn't write down. Really? I only got Flash and Kyle. I think after that I went back to Photoshop. Oh my God, sir! So you don't even you didn't even hear him? No. And are you heard? Are you heard and you forgot? It's probably it probably that whole I heard and went out, went in one ear out the other. Oh my gosh! So you like did not have any initial re? Okay, so folks, don't spoil it in the chat. We're going to get Trex's first initial reactions. To you it understand right that they're not going to hear right here and now. All right. Okay. They are introducing. I'm not looking at chat. I'm not looking at chat. A, they're they're introducing a green and red lantern, Guy Gardner. Oh! Oh hell yeah! Oh my <laughs> god! Oh yeah! Yeah, there's oh, there's a sound mess. Like, sound like a Boston girl during sex. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh god. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted has ruined my life. <laughs> I can never go to Boston. Never. Never ever. <laughs> So awesome, Guy Gardner coming to Legends. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna have to learn that. Not just Guy Gardner, but it's a green and red Guy Gardner. Mm, it's gonna so, be all yeah. sorts of sexy there. Wait a minute. Oh crap! I need now. I need to tweet. I might need to like message Yens or something. It's like, hey, can we um, can we get like the when he goes Red Lantern? Can I please get his his goatee? I need Guy Gardner goatee. I know how that sounds. But if you're reading the Red Lanterns I don't right think now... I you really do, Trex. <laughs> I know. But Eris, it's such a good goatee. But if you're reading the uh, New 52 Red Lanterns right now, uh, ever since Guy Gardner joined up with the Reds and kicked the process out, spoiler alert, whatever, uh, then you know that... Uh, he now has this gigantic ginger bush of a beard, this great goatee that goes along with his personality very well. And of course, when Guy Gardner was going to be announced for War of the Light, it's like I need this. He got the goatee. He needs the goatee. I need the goatee, but he doesn't have the goatee. But that's okay. But I would just love it later on. Just have the artist just put that goatee in like later, because that goatee is terrific. <laughs> Terrific. This is a whole night of just what did Trex say? <laughs> what no. did the Trex say? No. <laughs> no, sir. 
<laughs> no, we are not doing that. <laughs> Do not make that a thing. <laughs> oh, you know, the, you know, the, the, the worst part of, the, of tonight is there was a conversation that went on earlier, which unfortunately is covered by NDA, that I cannot talk about. But, oh, my gosh, it was some juicy stuff. All involving our trex our Trexikins here. And what Oh Trex yeah. Says, <laughs> you can't say Trex it. Says, <laughs> things, things, things that Trex says. Hashtag overheard in the CC chat. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Yeah, I was trying to I was, yeah, I said it and then I'm like, okay, can we make sure this is in the aid? This is in the aid, this is in the aid. Thank goodness. And that reminds me, I have a PayPal. I need to send maps. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so, <laughs> so was that all from the Ask DCO? Because that's all I remember. Um, that was pretty much it. I mean, the other they asked about you know the, somebody asked about legends uh, stuff like that. They, uh, um, but yeah, I think that's really mostly what they covered. You know, legends. You know, Flash for Legends and everything like that. Um, those were the two big things, the two big news things that they discussed. Yeah. All right. So, so. Uh, also going on right now, uh, we have it's going on for the full week. Uh, over on the DCO's Facebook page, there's a poll going. So we all know about the new, uh, the Batman classic. Uh, really, is it classic? It's not really classic. Classic probably be Adam West Batman, but. Uh, there is a new Batman skin, Batman uh, Legends character coming out uh, with the 75th anniversary of the Batman, which I have on my other podcast, we did a couple of episodes talking about all the stuff Batman. So I think Batman had like three episodes talking about the 75th anniversary because there's a lot to talk about with that guy. But Yeah, and yeah, they're, they're like, oh, I'm not going to get into it. I will not get into it. This is some... I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm a, I'm afraid I'm gonna... to ask because you've never brought this up to me before. <sighs> Are you mad because we didn't celebrate the 75th anniversary of Superman? Because they, I cause... think, I think every, I think every comic book fan and every DC fan out there should be mad about that. Well, I mean, and, and Eric in the other days in the webcast at the to show it off and to announce this poll. Uh, Eric did say that they apologized, and, or I don't think they apologized, but they did say that, whoops, we did miss it last year. They did miss it. But, yeah, I know. So. I know they admitted to missing it. You know, I mean, and that's that's the grand and all that, but the fact that, I don't know. I don't know. I just, look, 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 look. Think of it, think of it this hard. <laughs> think. I know there's... There's things I want to say, but I'm going to get so much freaking flat form. And I've got enough hate on me right now as it is. <laughs> so, okay, so think of it this way. Superman didn't get a legend skin. And, and, and yes, we are sad about that. But think of it this way. Superman is popular enough that he doesn't need a skin. Batman, Batman is getting all of this press, all of this stuff, because Batman needs it. Because Batman can't get up to that Superman standard. Superman gets the 75th okay, anniversary. Okay, Everybody okay, knows. Okay, okay, okay. Back. Hold up, hold up. All right, first of all, I'm going to tell you right now. All right, what you just said is the exact opposite of the truth. Look, I'm trying right. to make you feel better. Can you at least give me some credit here? <laughs> no, it's not, no, it's not that I feel bad because Superman is not getting enough credit. I don't think Batman deserves all the credit he gets. Oh, well, I mean, your parents die... You're raised by an old English dude. You're around uh, bats all the time. You you like having kids around. I mean, Peter Parker's parents died, and he was responsible for his uncle's death. His uncle's death, right? Mm -hmm. He's not a brooding lunatic, you know, going around. You know, Gotham is hard, man. It is yeah. harder than New York City, Manhattan, even White Manhattan. <laughs> I got nothing. But anyways, <laughs> uh, right now on the Facebook poll, uh, along with the with uh, this new Batman skin, uh, they're also having a poll whether or not which new skin for Batman 
will be coming out with it. So we either have a choice between the costume style of New 52 Batman or the... I can never really pronounce that dude's name. Is it Troika? Troika. 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 Sorry. Uh, Troika's Batman from the 90s, which the 90s Batman is what I grew up with, and Troika got my vote. I do like New 52 Batman, but New 52 Batman suit looks just like Superman's Batman suit. Or, I'm sorry... Batman suit looks just like Superman suit with a different color because they went with this whole armor thing instead of actually being it cloth, which I have my own opinions on that, but whatever. The man of steel should be mar- should be the man of tights, not the man of armor that his father made when he didn't even know his size. Whatever. Anyways. I voted for, Tro- <laughs> I voted for Troika. New 52 Batman, you get a nod, but Troika will win for me with this. But Mets did announce that the New 52 Batman suit is at 58%. So it's in the lead, where the Troika is at 42%. So it's still marginally close. We can still fight it. If you haven't voted yet, you need to be voting for Troika, not New 52. Michael Keaton, Batman for the win. That's right, Gargamon. That is right. But that New 52 Hal Jordan skin, uh, no. I saw... (laughs) And I'm sorry I don't have the picture prepared. I do apologize. I meant to steal it from them. But the picture that they showed to show off the new 52 Batman during that stream, I kept, I actually typed in chat and I'm yelling to myself, it's like, hit him, Hal! Hit it! Hit him! Just, his, his mask is off. Just smack him in the face with your, with your Green Lantern arm that has a thing on it. Just smack him. I just wanted to hit him. That's all I wanted to do. So... So did you, uh, who did you vote for, or is that too political? I don't, I don't want to cross. I'm not, I'm not voting for either one of them because you know what? I mean, he's already getting. <laughs> this is gonna be. All right, I'm gonna point. To, let, me, let me point something out to you, okay? Let me point something out to you, all right? Okay. All right. In Legends, okay, in Legends, all right. There's, mm-hmm. there's only two characters that have more than one skin. Yes, that's correct. I'm sorry, no. There's three. There's three characters. Technically, technically, one's a completely different Legends character. Well, we've got two different Jokers. We've got two different Harleys. Yeah. All right. One, the Harley's just skin changes. Yeah. Right. We've got Batman, Future Batman. Right. Or the, I'm sorry, the pre-order Batman, Future Batman. Now we're getting this uh, 75th, you know, anniversary Batman skin plus another skin. Right. All right. Tell me, tell me, Batman is not overhyped. Well, I mean, you do have Superman, Supergirl, Ursa, Zod, Bizarro. Lex Luthor. The game started off. The game started off. All right, with three Batman raids. Okay, and we got the super legend, with three the Superman. Character, the Legends characters all consisted of launch Legends tunes. All consisted of all right. Pre-order Batman, Joker, Robin, Harley, Bane, Cat Catwoman came later. Nightwing, uh, Two Face came later. All right. All those Batman's rogue galleys are from the Batman family. Yeah. We've just now started getting these, you know, Kryptonians and the magic wing, you know, and the magic characters and everything. <laughs> and now we're getting three new Batman skins. Or, I'm sorry, two new Batman skins. Yeah. Batman's overhyped and Superman could be him in a fight any day of the week. You and you and you and Stevie B can talk about that. <laughs> I mean, he he says he he, he says never... Superman can beat him too, but <laughs> it's like whatever. Like I've heard I've heard that argument with my Nerds of the Apocalypse crew so much. It's like you know what? For God's sakes, Brainiac, just priest kill everybody. I'm waiting for Brainiac and Darkseid just to kill everything. See, I think Weapon Max has got it right. What does he have? Right. Super Patriot for... Oh. Oh, see, there you go. You could be a Superman skin. There you go. Make Super Patriot a Superman skin. Call it a day. There you go. New Superman skin. Super Patriot. <laughs> DC would probably have a fit. My challenge to Clutchmeister is to uh, win the Legends Tournament with uh, Superman. If you're still out there, Clutch. I know you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I buy that for a dollar. <laughs> that would be it. If he wins the tournament with Superman, there's, there's no question the dude's beast. There's no question. Catmon 5. All right, I'm going to school you on something. Batman has never beaten Superman in any canon comic book. It's always been either like what ifs, else worlds, or future type stories. He's never beaten him in canon. In fact, in canon, in canon, all right, Batman straight up admits any time Superman would beat him. Superman's stronger, faster, smarter, all right, and knows how to fight. Well, if he was smarter, I mean, I would think that Lex Luthor will be done with. He's from an alien planet. Doesn't mean he's right. smart. He's from, a, he's from an alien planet, all right, with a genetically superior, you know, makeup to us. Do you think, seriously, that his mental capacities are the same as a human's? Look, I am just saying. I mean, he lived in Kansas. Enough said. Have you seen the educational system in Kansas? He also, he also, he also spent how many years secluded in the Fortress of Solitude, learning about not just who he is and where he came from, but all of the contained knowledge of the Kryptonian uh, society, along with all of their, you know, te- technology. I need you. Are you seriously going to sit there and say that he's not smarter than Batman? He, you know what? I am out of this argument because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care for either one. When if someone literally, I keep get, I do get asked like, "Hey, who do you like better, Batman or Superman?" I like water. I got nothing for you. I mean, Batman doesn't do anything for me. I, I think I am more of. I think I'm more of like a Robin fan than I am Batman. And I don't even care which Robin, any of them, for God's sakes. I rather I rather listen to Robin and Dick like Dick Grayson. I rather listen to Nightwing than Batman. Cause uh But Batman and Superman, I could really care less. <laughs> I mean I, I I'm Green Lantern. We have all mixed we have all mixes of bags of stuff of people. It's like eh, whatever. We're we're in our own little universe. I am a lantern guy. That's right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Wolfer. <laughs> we have a Kansas person here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like who knew? Ah, <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm sorry, Kansas. I didn't mean it. I still love you. <laughs> So uh, be sure to head over to DC. Only, 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 only Trex would piss off an entire state filled with strong farm boys. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Iowa. I was around that people, I guess. That people? Oh, what do you mean, you people? Farmers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> I mean, farmers. I mean, farmers. What's going on? So, be sure to head over to facebook.com backslash DC Universe Online Game. I think it's online game. I don't know. DC Universe Online. Just go to their Facebook page, enter the poll, vote Troika, or vote none if you're a Superman fan and you want to boycott it. Tweets their own. Maybe they should have had an other category. It's like, hey, other. And everyone could have won other. Calm down, Dave. I see you over there. Calm down. <laughs> So, uh, no, uh, so next thing I want to talk about was I was a, uh, I released a video today with talking about survival mode. I ran with a couple of people from the uh, community council and uh, and some other folks as well. I know uh, Kaiser 007 was there. He's another YouTuber. Uh, Heart of Sky. He's another YouTuber as well. Like uh, we ran survival mode a little bit. Uh, I can't really talk about. Uh, certain parts of it uh, but the video that I did show was like the beginning part that we record that I recorded before I had to shut it off because we were doing some stuff because uh, apparently there are with us because we we're uh, doing uh, some testing for us to relay back to the devs 
uh, we couldn't show certain footage of certain of later rounds that people have not not seen yet. So we want to be respectful of the DCO devs and everybody. So we didn't show that footage. So, but I have like eleven minutes of footage, and I'm like, you know what? Pff, I'll just use this a quick look to show you guys can see how it actually looks and how it feels. And I went in as a fire as a rage tank. I went as a rage tank. And we, our other tank, Zeus, was uh, an ice tank. Uh, as you can see, I really messed up in that video because I was like, I didn't keep the ad separate on my side and his side and stuff. But yeah, it was weird. But in that run, I have learned that my Rage tank loadout, the same loadout that I use in live... I cannot use that loadout in survival mode, mainly because um, you have to kind of stay stationary, and everyone knows me, I have Outrage, and Outrage, if the person is, if my enemy, my target, go, jumps away from me, Outrage, I'm going to leap towards it as well. So I had to switch out Outrage, I had to use Eviscerate and Chain, I had to take out Without Mercy, which is a mid-range pull. I actually had to bring out uh, Ragebringer. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's Ragebringer. It's the multi-pull, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, I had to bring use that for the ads. And then once the ads were down, before the bosses came out, you had, like, maybe five seconds or so. So you have to. I had to open it up, replace Ragebringer, and put Rage Blast in, which is the single-target uh, taunt. You right. will need your single target taunt for a survival mode. Because, oh my god, some of these bosses just like to travel. <laughs> As a rage tank, I, I'm not a traveler. I, I, I like to stay where I am. And so my target flying away from me was, was not welcoming. When it goes into the group and it's like, Trex, your target's coming over here. It's like, I, I can't control her. She's she's going over there. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> so it was it was an experience to say the least. But uh, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun though. I will give it that. It was a lot of fun. But uh, I am so glad there's like no feats of this whatsoever because I would hate to do this every time for feats and stuff. I think when it comes out, I'll probably do it like a couple of times, and then I was like, "All right, I'm done. I'm spent," because <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but they did. In, uh, they did bring in on the latest patch for the test server. They did in, in, uh, institute the breaks on your menu. You're gonna uh, after uh, like I think it was round two, you get a break. You get a ten minute break. There's gonna a console shows up in the back, and it just. It's a green lot, a green circle that just ticks away with with the minutes. So you do have a ten minute break to do what you need to do, change some loadouts and everything. You can't leave. Just remember, you can't leave. You're stuck. Uh, so, but it's that ten minute break is going to be well, well welcomed. Yeah. I believe. Well I do welcomed. hope. I do hope though that they do something to implement, you know, some kind of feature though that where you know. Uh, especially for the PC and I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the PS3 and PS4 users and all that. You know, we still get every once in a while, man. We get you know random freaking disconnects and shit, and it's frustrating uh, for that to happen. Yeah. So I really do hope that they give us something to where, you know, that you know we'll be able to you know invite people back into the instance if they you know got a game data corrupt or something. Um. And we'll be able to uh, bring them back in inside that 10-minute break. Well, right Locke, uh, I believe it was said on the forums uh, talk, talking about uh, the... I think it was actually in the survival mode thread. I think it was said that Locke said that they are looking to bring back the Link Death back. It's coming back. Uh, now... Cool. Yeah, so, okay, uh, Decon, you're right. It is after round three. It's the 10-minute break. Weapon Max, you do not have to wait the 10 minutes. You do not. You The 10 minutes is, is the default. If you guys are ready to go and everything, just have your tanks positioned where they need to be, have everybody positioned up, and then just have, like, a DPS in the back 
just hit the console and you're good to go. So uh, it's three waves and then your boss and that's a round. So that's how it goes. Uh, and uh, and and it does get it does get harder. Oh god, it does so get harder. But I, I do give a shout out to all the healers that we had in that group for that instance. They, when we had to get to the difficult stuff, they were trucking it. Now I will say that in that run, I had 21 deaths, and uh, the person highest to me I think was a DPS, and he had 25. So I was not the highest death in the game or during that run. So, yay me. But I did, <laughs> I I did die like five times on one boss, and <laughs> by the time I, I was perfectly fine. Five deaths on those boss, but all my stuff was broken. I had I was getting one shotted at that point <laughs> because I had like no gear to sustain me. It's just like I'm I'm up full health, one shot, I'm down. <laughs> uh, so be be prepared. These things are just like. Whoosh! Just so tough, so tough. So, uh, do I do thank uh, all the guys last night for that testing? Uh, we gave a lot of good feedback to Meps and the devs uh, for them to uh, fix a couple of bugs there. So, uh, whether or not with survival mode, I will say right now <coughs> that I think we were in survival mode last night, maybe. This is my first time running it, and we were actually doing specific testing. I think we were in there for maybe about two hours or so. And I can see the survival mode going a lot longer once it hits live with with all your characters and stuff. So trying to decide to do a video on that, I'm still trying to figure out how to format it. Because, of course, I can show the ads increase the speed like 250. Then with the boss fight, I can increase it increase it by maybe 150. Uh, kind of separate that so it goes a lot faster. But I think I might just do individual boss fights with the rounds. I think that will probably be the best thing for it. Just because it's... That is going to be one long run. One long run. Especially when you die and you feel like... Well, once you die, you're pretty much done. Once you wipe, you're pretty much done. And you have to start back over. So, uh, if now, if they implement something that could take you back to that spot after a wipe, that would be pretty neat. Maybe bring back a member who died in one round, and then when the, when the round's over, you can, you can try and come back in. That would be neat, too. Because, I mean, we do it raids all the time. Right, uh, but but these are things that are being discussed on the forums that people would like to see, and uh, if the devs will, if the devs do it, that'll be pretty cool. But if not, that'll be weird. I don't know. I would like to see something like that, I guess, because I mean, I died, and luckily everybody got me back up. I actually sat out of a round because I died, and no one could pick me up. I sat out of a round, and. And I was quite sad. I sat there. And <laughs> I sat there on the other side of that screen just looking like, are you guys having fun? I miss you guys. I'm going to twiddle my thumbs now. That's true. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey. I'm still here. <laughs> I want to come back. You guys are doing really good. I just want to wish you all good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's my two cents on survival mode. It was, it was a lot of fun to run, but, and oh my god, it was, it was a lot of fun to run. But I'm, I'm not seeing it something that will have a lot of replay value after you do it, unless you're one of those people who's just like, you know, we're gonna be number one, we're gonna be the best, we're gonna just keep doing it. Here's, here's an idea. I mean, okay, so let me ask you a question. What do you think about the rewards that they're that people are getting from the survival? I mean, you, you've seen these these shirts, right? The bronze and the silver. Yeah, I've only seen bronze and, and silver. Right, I don't think anybody's gotten to the gold yet. Um, at least I think the, there's you know, a nobody toilet. Has po nobody, nobody has posted or anything. 
Uh, I don't think there's a toilet, dude. <laughs> a man um, can dream. <laughs> but uh, what do you what do you think about the rewards for it? Because I noticed you know there's some interesting bosses in there that uh, drop some that uh, you know could drop some uh, pretty interesting iconic awards that you could only get from this survival system. I was about to say, are you expecting sharpshooter legs? Uh, no, I wasn't talking about sharpshooter legs. I was talking about stuff like, um, I don't know, see, you fight Bleez and Guy Gardner in there, yes? Can't really say. No, there's video of it out there, man. Oh, thank God. It's yes. Like, it's, like, it's, like the, it's like the third like third round, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember either. <laughs> but, yes. um, yeah, because I believe uh, Kaiser007 posted a video of his electric DPS again in that survival against um guy in Bleez. Um but say you know okay you guys beat that boss, you know, alright, defeat that round. Um how about an iconic, you know, Guy Gardner chest, red lantern guy gardener chest. Shh stop it. Hey I'm just looking, you know, for a way to, you know, make No, you're getting my hopes up and I am not appreciate it. I'm not trying to get your hopes up. I say I'm saying I'm looking at ways for, you know, some of these, some of these rewards and all that. I'm not saying the shirts don't look great, but I mean I'm looking for something like I've got this. Look how awesome I look in it, nee, 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 type stuff. <coughs> well, and am I wrong in saying that the Guy Gardner Red Lantern chest would not do it for you? Would not make you want to go. Fuck it, I'm getting in. We're getting a group. Let's do this tonight. I want that chest. <laughs> tell me, tell me, it doesn't make you want to go in there and get. It will make me want to go in there repeatedly to try and get to that round. But then, uh-huh. I don't want to be that guy. I, I feel that I would get too determined, and I just become a really bad guy. Because then, then, then I'll be that guy to yell at my league, to yell at the players like, What the f- are you doing? You can't heal me? Are you having problems? You can't get your pheromones going? You need to do better. I need to get this chest, and we are not stopping until we do. Let's do this. Oh, you want to leave? You want to cry? Go ahead and cry. Go ahead and leave right now. You leave, let's go and queue up someone else. Let's queue up right now. I'll be the only original person there after five hours of gaming. <laughs> But if that 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 would be something to put in, I will say that uh, these these uh, style chi- uh, chests, the uh, the iron and the bronze are the ones I have. Uh, those are really cool. I don't like that they're a staple color because you can get like bronze. <laughs> I would kick some of that challenge if they were stopping me from getting that chest. I don't want to be that guy. That's the guy I don't want to be. I will start kicking people. <laughs> but uh, I, w- I wish I can go and test right now, but I'm not able to. But uh, with it, you get. I think I got like the bronze shirt, purple chest, and then like the uh, the bronze. I got like a blue, and you can't change that blue and purple. You, I think you can change the black, but I mean, I think that color is actually. It stays because it's purple. If, it, if it's like, oh, what style are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing a purple shirt, but it's not purple. Uh, well, I changed it. Kind of like the aura. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 just pink, just pink. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I don't know. Putting would I like to see that uh, that kind of style stuff put in? Definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a style. I mean, at the same time, if I don't get it, I don't get it. I just have to wait for the next time around. Now, that's probably how I feel about it. And then at the same time, I will be making... I would make hateful comments to people who stop me from getting that chest. I would, I would yell at people. It's like, we only need one more round. We can't... What? How are we feeling at wave two? We have wave three, and then we're at that boss. Let me get to that boss, or I'll choke you. 
See, I don't want to rage. Wow. Yeah, I will. I think, I think I think we just found out how to get Trex competitive in the NGCO. Stop it. <laughs> Rare styles that drop from difficult content. Lantern I think styles. We, I Lan- think we lantern found stuff. a way. It has to be lantern stuff. Because if it's like if something Superman drops in there, I wouldn't really care. Well, I rage. Calm down. <laughs> That's why having a guy gardener rage is like, you know he can go green and right. I don't care. I'm raging. Me, me, me. I would like to see it too, sadly. But I, I will kick people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have that fear. So, uh, anything else you want to talk about, sir? Um... Well, Gargamon here is wanting me to talk about PvP. I'm guessing he's wanting me to talk about the uh, thing, the issue with the hard stuns that recently came up. Um, it's on the uh, test notes for update 38. Oh, that's right. Um, and there's a server hotfix today, too. Yeah, there was a server hotfix today. Uh, okay, well, based off of you know, the conversation like me, you guys heard, if you guys listened to the show last week, that Trex was posted uh, yesterday on his YouTube channel. Um, we, <laughs> uh, me and Clutch, we kind of went back and forth and all that, and that was mainly more out of a uh, uh, misunderstanding of the definition of the term hard, hard stun. Than anything else, a hard stuns for me has always been you know stuns that have been difficult to break out. Those included counter mechanics, and of course you know you got other stuns out there, you know like gauss grenade, uh, you know anything dealing with mental. Um, stuff like that. Um, I've always classified all of those as hard stuns, uh, simply because they were hard stuns that were difficult to break out of. Um, I like it noted that I'm not the only one who classifies them as that way. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, for a lot of players and all that, hard stuns are purely, you know, sp- specifically meant in regards to the counter mechanic stuns that you get, you know, so you you lunge somebody who's blocking, you get knocked down. You're block breaking, they lunge you, you get knocked down. You know, you hit somebody with an interrupt, uh, interruptible power that is you know susceptible to block, you get knocked down. You know, when they're blocking, those are the hard stuns everybody was talking about. Those right there, those are fine the way they are. Those need to be that way specifically because I mean it does keep skill play involved in PvP. It's the other stuns, you know, like the stuns that I was talking about before, the difficult stuns, which people, people call them stun locks and or, what, or whatnot. I still call them hard stuns. It's because, to me, those are hard stuns. The counter-mechanic stuns are counter-mechanic stuns. Or counter stuns. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, Gargamon, uh, talking about PvP, um, I could really talk about it all night. And you know, if I chose to, uh, so you need to be a little bit more specific in what it is about PvP you want me to talk about for me to be able to continue. Because Trex can testify, I can talk about it for a while and quite extensively. Yeah, I don't want you to talk forever. <laughs> uh, so while you're waiting for that, let me go ahead and uh, uh, crap. I actually closed that window that had the forums open. I'm so sorry. Give me one moment. Uh, I will state that once again, if you hear. Uh, coming out to SOE Live, come out to SOE Live. It's going to be so much fun. We're waiting the, we're waiting for the approval on the Sourcecast panel. Uh, there were a couple other panels that I had in my mind that I want to. I still have to talk to people. Uh, if it doesn't go through, I'll just probably sneak on to other people's panels. Like, hey, I'm right here. I don't care. I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about the hot fix that happened today because there are a little controversy behind it. Uh, mainly being the controversy behind the propane tanks near Killer Croc can now be only picked up by him. Um, no, I want to pick up that propane tank. I don't know what you're thinking, Devs, but <coughs> I call that wrong. All right, Killer Croc should not only be the person to pick those up. Do you agree? I uh, want to no. use those. Dude, have you been to Under Siege? Yeah, I have love it down there. Siege? I have yeah, lunch have- down there. Okay, have you been under siege and just hanging out there on top of your base and then all of a sudden just blown up? Oh, no. Yeah, that's what that's what was going on with those propane tanks, right? 
That's what was going on in those propane tanks. You know, I'm not you know, saying just the villains were doing it because I know there were some heroes out there doing it too. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the, yeah, they were fun. They were fun. But uh, yeah, the thing is though, all right, you, when you're using them to constantly grief a player safe area. All right. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just something, something needs to be fixed. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just joking. Like that wasn't shaz- that's like the Shazam glitch. All right, back <laughs> in the day, you know. <laughs> uh, so uh, that wasn't really the big thing. I was just making fun of it. The big thing about this was the uh, hand blaster weapon mastery. Okay, the hand blaster mastery. Arrow fling mastery now used the damage scale of a ranged combo rather than a melee combo and causes less damage than before. So, anytime I feel that they have the words less damage than before, scales, the, anytime those words are sounds of the forums by a green name, people come in there, rest in peace, blah blah blah. Oh, rest in peace, Arrow Fling. Oh, that got nerfed. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's all done with. But there's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I don't understand why people are so upset about, you know, Arrow Fling when they buffed Explosive Bolt. They, expl- they buffed Explosive Shot. All right? Explosive Shot now does everything that Arrow Fling did before, but now it's a block breaker, right? And the freaking, uh, the, the power, you know, or the damage spreads across multiple targets. On top of that, you're not going like ten paces forward when you use arrow fling. <coughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't really see what the issue is. Now at the same time, I do not use hand blaster weapon. I don't use it from hand blaster going into arrow. I do need to start though because my DPS uses hand blasters, which is great. But. I mean, it's apparently it was being scaled with melee combo and not ranged. Well, it's a ranged weapon. It's a ranged attack. It's need to be scaled. So that was a little problem. Uh, so deal with it. Uh, another cool thing that they fixed. Apparently, it, it never happened, even though it was supposed to. But they got they uh, they finally released it. Uh, but the superpower versions of Snap Trap, Hand Clap, Grasping Hand, and Fan will now properly deal additional damage to dazed targets like the Construct Combo versions. Apparently that was not implemented, so they finally did. So yay! Gay Hard Light. Yay. So did Gargamon ever talk to you? Hmm? Did Gargamon tell you what to talk about with PvP based? I didn't, I didn't see. I don't even think he's in the chat anymore. Oh no, did he leave? He left us. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm at a loss. Uh, Dave asks, is there any word on the summer event yet? It's on test still. When it's going to come out, it's going to come out whenever Game Update 39 comes out. (laughs) That's all I can really say. Uh, But... If that's it, apparently everyone... Uh, Burke and Dave, Summer Event is coming with Update 38. Oh, I'm sorry, we are on so 38, aren't pre- we? My bad, my bad. Yeah, so be prepared for that. My apologies. So, alright, well, I'll let, you got anything else, sir? Um, nothing off the top of my head uh, that I can think of. Cool. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I do apologize. Um, uh, yeah, Game Update 38 is on the test server right now. That's what the summer event will be part of. Game Update 39 is going to be League Halls. Yes, I remember correctly. League Halls. Yes, it's going to be good. Smite, better than DC Universe, yes or no? Smite and DCEO is a completely different game. They're One's an MMO, the other one's a MOBA. But, I mean, I enjoy both games equally. So, I, I love those. But, alright. Uh, that's it for us for episode 115. It's in the bag on the internet in places around the world. Uh, be sure to find us on Facebook and on Twitter at DCO Source Podcast or DCO Sourcecast. We go by both names. Huh, we're clever like that. Uh, Suits, where can we find you? 
You can, of course, find me at youtube.com slash the daddy's house. You can also find me at facebook.com slash the daddy's house. Stop by there, give it a like. And you can follow me on the Twitter at the daddy's house there. Find me there and you can give me a follow. Trex, where can we find you? You can, of course, find me over at youtube.com backslash Trexlight and also on the Facebook at uh, backslash Trexlight and on the Twitter at this is Trex. Uh, you can also find all the episodes of the DC uh, Sourcecast and, of course, my other podcast I do as well over at trexlight.com. That is the website. And, of course, uh, I guess I need to promote this more as well. Uh, we d- I do have a t-shirt shop. You can get DC... You can get Sourcecast t-shirts over there on my page. I I think it's like spread shirt. I don't even know the link. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the link's... Like in the video, if you go to my YouTube channel, any of the DCO uh, Sourcecast episodes, they will have a link in the T-shirt section down below. Links in the description, all the links for everything. They're all in there, especially the T-shirt shop. So please buy a T-shirt. Have, we'll we'll even sign it. We'll even sign it. Oh yeah, and do not forget about the fifty percent off summer sale. Oh my god, we didn't talk about it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We did. Yes. 50% off marketplace sale on almost everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Running gag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all, uh, almost everything. Uh, Supergirl is sadly not part of the marketplace sale. I got my hopes up, and just like what happens when I meet a blonde woman, they are crushed. All hopes are crushed. That also includes the um, the base amenities are not included in the sale either. So, Sorry about that. Yeah. Almost but, everything. You know. But those replay badges, though, that was the first thing everyone told me. It's like, Trex, look at the replay badges. Look at the replay badges. I was like, all right, well, 25 replay badges, 45 station cash. What? That looks nice. I don't buy, I don't buy that kind of stuff. I don't. So, yes, uh, thank you, Decon. I can go ahead and say it right here. It's uh, the link to go look at the T-shirt shop is trexlight.spreadshirt.com. It's there. Trexlight at Spreadshirt.com. More t-shirts are on, are, are going to be on the way. I have to meet up with uh, a nice artist and and figure stuff out. I have I know a lot of artist friends, uh, some on the internet, some I know face-to-face, and I just haven't really figured out what I want to do. But, yes. Jimmy comes in, I have a green mask on. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what does that mean? I don't know what she means by green mask. It, 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 are you mean a sword? Because you're a moderator? I think that's what you mean. Wow, I realize I have a lot of moderators I set up. That's a lot of swords I have. Okay. So, that's it for the show. Uh, stay tuned this weekend. I may stream a little bit more. Uh, some DCUS stuff. And any fun stuff that I feel like it. Because it's always fun. Uh, Also, a quick note. uh, I know uh, Jimmy and Devon, because Devon apparently misses my face and we've never seen each other. Uh, I am still trying to incorporate webcam access on the podcast to make it a little bit more visual appealing for you guys. And you guys want to see us (coughs) and our prettiness. Uh, So, uh, I am working on a new overlay for XSplit, and uh, it's taking it's gonna t- it's taking me a little bit longer than I thought because it's just so freaking hard because XSplit has dimensions weird and I don't like it. But I'm trying to work. I'm working my best on it. <laughs> excuses, lots of excuses. So uh, be sure to stay. Uh, be sure to watch Friday Night Legends next week. USPC Living Legends tournament. Excuse me, and of course. Right after FNL next week, you're going to come back to us over at twitch.tv backslash trekslight for the Sourcecast, episode 116. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and your week. We will see you guys next time. Bye.